Marx is Sucker saying fear over a far right backlash against Muslim Muslims because an Islamic terrorist attacks are irrational for two reasons primarily. Wow. So a lot of people are noticing that some people are after this attack happened instead of being cons instead of being concerned for the teacher uh people are like crying oh my god islamophobia islamophobia and, and actually actually i won't i won't say that that's not an illegitimate concern right you could be at the same time worried for the teacher and also worry for the muslim community because of the you know the hate people have the generalization that people would do and you know the re collective you know the collective mindset of a lot of people want to punish people that had nothing to do with this attack right so i don't know if i agree with this line, first line fear over a far-right backlash against muslims because an islamic terrorist attacks are irrational i have that fear as well i am concerned for the teacher i wouldn't call it yeah, I'm also afraid of a backlash against individual Muslims because of this. So, I don't know, I'm concerned about that as well. Are you guys not concerned about that as well? I think th these two things, again, this is how tribal people are. People think like you have to be on one side or the other, right? I'm on side of, you know which side am I? I'm, you guys know which side I'm on? I'm on the side of humans, <laughs> right? That's what a humanist, I mean... Again, Muslims have crappy ideas, obviously, they believe in Islam, but that doesn't mean they need to be harassed, and I think that this is going to encourage a lot of people to harass them and attack them, and that's not going to be good, and those attacks and harassments is going to encourage a lot of Muslims to become more radical, and then in the circle we go and go and go and go, right? So, so, so Susanna said this is a good take, and I... And this person is calling me irrational for being worried about the backlash. Are you guys not worried about the backlash against Muslims? I'm worried about the backlash against Muslims. Sajib is saying, "Why, Sajib? What, Sajib, why do you keep? Why do you want me to yell? You really want me to yell? Are Are you suffering from humanophobia? I, I just did the opposite. Education is our only hope." Do you guys, do you guys, are you guys concer concerned for a Muslim as well? Because I am. I don't think like people like, oh, I was just going to have that take. I was like, hey, we should be more worried about the teacher. I mean, but yeah, but you could do both at the same time. It could be like one doesn't just, if you m show concern from, for the backlash, that doesn't mean that you're not sad for the teacher. People are responsible for their own actions. You're going down a slippery slope there. How? How am I going down a slippery slope? Me being concerned, like, I, do you understand how slippery slopes work? People are responsible for their own actions. Wait, are you saying they're deserving of the backlash? People who, are you, are you suggesting that the Muslims that have not, that had nothing to do with this attack are responsible for the backlash that they, that they, Muslim community will get um, saying Armin Armin is trying to stand be in between two ships but you cannot you will fall I'm standing in between six ships uh, far right woke Islam Hindutva CCP what else I forgot the other one Hindutva in Christianity and let's add Judaism to that as well. Seven. I'll fight them all. You guys, let me see if you guys are actually concerned. I'm concerned for Muslims. Ah, see? Abu Lahab did nothing wrong, is concerned for Muslims. A backlash against Muslims would be bad, but a backlash against Islam would be very appropriate. Yeah, exactly. That's the... F that's ding, 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 ding! Exactly. Backlash against Islam, not against Muslims. I like that take. Yeah, and guys, we will be calling out any backlash against individual Muslims if it, if and when it happens. We will call it out here as well. Yes, I do understand. No, I'm saying your comment about the vicious oh, the vicious cycle. Okay, okay, okay. Armin, I'm not concerned because that's pretty unlikely to happen based on the sample size that we've got on our hands. Um, okay, so it's it's fair for it's fair to not be concerned because you don't think it happen. It's going to happen. That's fair, but. 
if you're not concerned because you don't care about Muslims, that would be something that would be against. But if you're not concerned because you think it's unlikely that will happen, I think that's fair. That's a fair position. I'll, ac I'll accept that. Sajib saying not really moderate Muslims will go after true Muslims and will try to learn about Islam after this. Okay, so if you guys are not concerned because you don't think it's going to happen, that's fine. But I'm hoping nobody here is not, is not, not being concerned because they don't care what happens to Muslims. So I was saying, when are you? When are they going to understand that we are against all religions, but not people? Yeah, exactly. So uh, I'm so I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are awesome. So I was saying, there are two tweets. One is visually explicit. She went up her body nude. Okay, why, Soraya? You had to warn me about. Glad I asked. You shouldn't tell me to just go to Mariam Namazi's Twitter account here live on air when you know how bad that's going to be for this channel. And other tweets explanatory. This is Mariam Namazi. Yeah. This is, see, I know Mariam Namazi's history. YouTube will strike us down if I just show it even for half a second. Uh, so I'm not even going to go there. I'm scared now. Uh, people, again, this is not, I'm not, I'm not anti-nudity or anything like that. This is YouTube standards, okay? I'm not doing a Sharia on Mariam Namazi. Uh, people should make it known that European leaders have no balls. Strong leadership is required in this situation. And the reaction to this travesty and others should be substantial. I mean, it seems like France is like, I don't know, France is doing more than most countries. Tarot is saying, Armin, Marxist soccer's arguments. Yeah, actually, let's finish, Mark. I haven't even um, went through it, right? Islamic, so he's saying it's irrational for two reasons. Islamic terrorism is far-right violence and needs condemning first. I agree with that. The left's refusal to address Islamic extrem extremism fuels right-wingers. I agree with that. But both of these points are very, very good points. Uh, the left's refusal to address Islamic extremism fuels right-wingers. Wonderful. Absolutely I agree. Both of them are correct. And Islam is a far-right ideology. However, none of these two, none of these two, two makes us worrying about a backlash against Muslims irrational. One, two could be true while my fear for a backlash against Muslim is, stands as well. One and two does not make the fear of backlash irrational. Okay, I agree with these. These are very good, two good points, by the way. Okay, then Marxist continues, when leftists constant, oh, consistently make their first concern what about Islamophobia the far right looks the more reasonable of the two because they call a spade a spade on the issue of Islamic terrorism uh, this is true but I don't think it the problem is that yeah the first concern obviously should be the victim the second concern should be the victim the third concern it should also be the victim the fourth and the fifth victim should also be the violence and the victim okay but i think at some point we could also be like guys like let's make sure like we call out any backlash as well like i think at some point in the discussion we could address that right um at some point we could be like because the, because the if you look at the first tweet, it didn't say fear over a far-right backlash against Muslims being your first priority is irrational. No, it's just like it said fear over far-right backlash as a whole is irrational. But then if you look at the second tweet, it's saying that if your first concern is that, which Islamophobia is a BS term, by the way. I would say anti-Muslim bigotry. If your first concern is that, that's a problem. But yeah, but it could be a, like your fifth concern, maybe, right? So th this second tweet is seeing, you know, is not a re good representation of the first tweet because the first tweet was suggesting that if he, if it's your concern at all, then you're irrational. But then the second tweet is suggesting that if it's your first concern, then that's irrational. Okay. So the second tweet was saying, when the leftists consistently make their first concern, what about Islamophobia, the far right looks the more reasonable. Yeah, and, but here's the problem. If you refuse to talk about anti-Muslim bigotry because you, you are rightfully concerned about Islam, 
then now you're making the Wokistani people look reasonable because you're like Islam bad, Islam bad, Islam bad, and you're like okay, so are you, what about the discrimination and bigotry against Muslims? And you're like Islam bad, Islam bad, Islam bad. You're like okay, okay, yeah, Islam bad, but do you condemn these people? Like Islam bad, Islam bad, Islam bad. You're like okay, 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 okay. So maybe the Wokistani people have a point, right? So in the same way that if you just cry Islamophobia without paying attention to the dangers of Islam makes the far right people look reasonable in the same way if you only just talk about the dangers of Islam without being concerned about the civil rights of Muslims and calling out any discrimination against Muslims in the same way that's gonna make the woke Sunni people look reasonable however I also want to clarify that who's gonna look reasonable shouldn't be the way that you judge what positions to take, okay? The positions you take should be based on is this position going to reduce misery and harm or not in the, on, on, on the net effect of it, right? That's how you decide. But anyways, we got a super chat, so I need to look at the super chat. Trinity is saying, keep up the good work. Thank you so much for the five euro super chat. Uh, Trinity is saying, keep up the good work, and thanks for talking about Secular Friends, which has been rather ill for many years now. Y uh, yeah, I'm uh, yeah, still ahead of most countries, but it's going to be, it's very devastating to not France, but to the entire planet. If the mother, if the country that gave us Enlightenment values is losing its Enlightenment values, right? Like this is, they're coming from to, for the heart. They're coming for the heart of Enlightenment values, guys. If France cannot protect Enlightenment values, then we're royally screwed, okay? That's why before we spread Enlightenment values, we need to protect it ex in places where it started, right? So thank you so much again, Trinity, for the five euro super chat. Let me see what else you guys are saying. All right, so Mark Soccer last tweet is saying, until the left breaks this taboo of not criticizing Islam because of fear of Islamophobia, the xenophobic right and the terries, again, I'm not going to read this. You guys could read this on the screen. Uh, the terries will continue to win. All right? Very, very true. Very, very true. But again, on the other side, until some anti-Islam activists, which we all, I hope, are, uh, break this taboo of not calling out anti-Muslim bigotry because of fear of Islam, uh, the Wokistani Mujahideen will continue to win. See what I did there? So I'm going to reread this tweet and I'm going to reread it from the other side. Until anti-Islam activists break the taboo of not criticizing anti-Muslim bigotry because of fear of Islam, the Wokistani Mujahideen will continue to win. See, See how it works on both sides, right? Again, I'm not saying this is not true. This is definitely true. But again, we don't want either the far right people or the woke Sunni majority. Didn't. It's guys. It's so people are like Irwin. Like you pick a side. Blah blah blah. You can't be like be guys. It's so easy. It's so easy. We hate Islam. We protect Muslims. How hard is that? Like how, is that like we've been t repeating this for the past decade? It's not that complicated. Okay, it's very straightforward. Okay, anyways, let me show the next uh, tweet. So, so this one was labeled by Susanna as a good take, right? And I, uh, to be fair, mm, it's mostly a good take. Just had some slight adjustments. Okay, I'm not saying it was a bad take. 